Now, if you track the channel, of course you know what this is. The Air Hogs Helix Sentinel drone comes in this massive carry case. The boys getting unpacked. Now, we were with them a week ago. We took it out into the park and we flew it around. As you can see, it has a quick takeoff, press one button, and it hovers stable. So even though these guys are beginners at drones, they had no trouble getting started. But we were keen to see how they had got on with the drone in the intervening weeks. Now they've been practicing and they were keen to show me what they could do with it now. So in the home, it still has that fine tune control. So just press a button and you take off. Very small movements with the sticks means that you can maneuver it around the smallest of spaces as well as moving outside. Now I was impressed to see how the boys drone piloting skills had come on and we got gel here on the controls really keeping it steady and those as we said fine movements gives you a great deal of control around the home of course you need to be extra careful of obstacles like lampshades and all that Noah here had a challenge for his brother could he fly it all the way downstairs to see what mum was cooking for tea let's go to brave mum okay so let's see how they get on because this is no mean feat they're going to have to maneuver the drone into the landing down the stairwell into this relatively small hallway and then out into the kitchen hopefully without their mum figuring out what's going on they can do that by seeing the screen on the smartphone Noah's got his goggles on so he can see in that first person VR view we've got Joel taking control all the boys getting involved what's telling them what to watch out for there's a danger here of hitting the ceiling so they've got to drop the height as they come down the stairs which is actually pretty tricky uh, there you go, you can see from Noah's point of view there, that's what it looks like from first person perspective, coming round to the hallway. Now this is going to be a tricky part of the flight because they've got to get round, avoiding that light, controlling the height. Of course they've got that height assist mode on the Helix Sentinel out through the hallway. Now can they get through this doorway? You can see the boys telling each other watch out for the door because if they hit the door it's going to be a real giveaway. Round the corner. Now let's just get a bit quieter so we can hear what happens if they get closer. Oh, quiet, 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 quiet. Hello, Shimmy, Shimmy, Shimmy. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hey, Mum. Hey. Hey. Hi, guys. What's your tea, Mum? Hello. Hello. Go. pretty impressive I think all three boys working together to get that drone right through their house you can see here from Noah's first person perspective a final wave to mum now the task is to press that land button and we are down dad, successful flight now dad gets home and the boys are keen to show him what they've been up to hey boys what have you been up to? Oh, look John yeah. had to fly all the way downstairs through the kitchen to <laughs> get the movie <laughs> and then reversed it back so. brilliant <laughs> Filming her without her knowing? Yeah. yeah. Love it. <laughs> Secret spy cam, was it? Yeah, yeah it's so cool. <laughs> She's doing the tea. And we got the drone today. Well, I think it's tea time anyway. I think she's finished making it now. Oh. Let's go. So, as we leave the hunts to go off and have their tea, we'll just pop back and just have a bit of a reminder of the footage we shot and the outside in the park. Here we have more use of the different screens. We set up three different screens on the Whoa, device so you can connect to both an iPhone, an iPad, and of course that VR goggles. You can also connect to Android devices too. But here you can see out in open space, it's quite a different experience to flying in home and it has the power to get nice and high. You've got a lot of control there of those twin sticks. And again, you've got the footage here streaming to the different devices you're using again the kids enjoyed waving to the different members of the family dad waving at noah who sees that in first person perspective now i like as this flight develops so you get some real height you get a sense of how much power and how much controllability you've got of the helix sentinel drone each of them taking turns of, on the controls and each of them having a really good time so as we come towards the end of our flight here we just take it a bit higher to see how high we can go and it goes pretty much above the rooftops of the houses in our local area and from there you get a great view from that camera at a different perspective on the neighbourhood you live in. Now the next thing to do of course is to bring it down to land but with the, the stability assist and sensors on the Helix Sentinel again that wasn't a big problem you just press the land button and we're down. 
So there you go, that is our look at the Helix Sentinel drone. Once you're done, of course, like last time, you can pack it away, put it back in the box, and you are ready to go. Okay. Okay.